Lake Lunkers here, uh, collab, finally, with NE Fishing Adventures. NE Fishing Adventures, and we want to introduce you to our newest member of the channel, and that's Robert Costing here. So he is at. He has joined the Lake Lunkers team. We're waiting for Billy to show up. He's late per usual because he had to go see his girlfriend. So. He'll be here and we'll here. get some good content. We're gonna go bullheading. Oh, I see you got the the uh, the note for the maroon. Say hey to the lake lunkers. Hello, lake. I just lunkers. I just introduced uh, I, Bob, I just introduced Bobby. You got a nice new pole. Dude, look at that fresh fade. Give us a spin. Give us a spin. I'm stuck in the wire. See Poppy. Too poppy. Ooh, I like your cut, G. Ah! They said he couldn't do it. They said he sucked at fishing. They said he has no experience. You'd be right. They said I couldn't do it. Gang, gang. One of the things that these clowns don't realize is that if you sit in an elevated position, like a lifeguard stand, you have a better chance at actually catching fish. Because um, I can see my bobber out there. And, uh... Quit trash talking me, bro. I don't do this. I'm just the video guy. They're, they're picking on me. But I did catch a fish. You saw that. Um, I'm still in the game. What's wrong with the bluegill? A fish is still a fish. You can't hear him because he's so far away. So don't even worry about what he was saying. Yeah, so was I. But I haven't fished since I was six. They're being so rude to me. And I actually don't even deserve it. My feelings are officially hurt. It's unreal. Cal? You better zip it. Yes. Catch me a bluegill so I can use some bait. Catch a bluegill and eat it. Well, this is T Super in the house. So this guy ended up coming up to us. Uh, he was fishing in the same spot as us and he wanted us to film him for our YouTube channel. Uh, we later found out he was actually related to Billy, but we filmed him nonetheless, and he had some very interesting things to say. So enjoy his take on fishing. And I'll Izzy. see what I can in the Izzy. I can see what I can. I'm sure I can catch a bass. All right. Might be like eight inches, but I might play myself in front of everybody. How long have you been doing this? Fishing? Yeah. My whole life. Your whole life? Yeah. Are you? A pro would you say you're a professional? Not at all. You are watching a master at work. Shut up. I got, I got a little wisdom for you. Bad day at fishing is still better than a bad day at work, or no, a good day at work. A bad day fishing is still better. Is still than better than a bad day not fishing. No, no. Better than a bad day at work. No, the bad day fishing is still better than a good day at work. Oh, okay, That's yeah, yeah. It is. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made up tale. It's a total fabrication. Show us the old girl. Wow, look at that. He said he'd do it, folks. And he did. That's the, uh, that's the cow and the Jimmy promise. What do you have to say about that? Eddie? If it'll eat, then why'd you throw it back in? You contradicted yourself. Are you dying? You got a wiener on your line. Wiener on my line. <laughs> what weenies? Would you say you're fighting against the wind? I would not say I'm fighting against the wind. You just said you were. I 
said I think the bite, what they said was a bite was the wind, and I would be correct. So call him Bob Seeger in the Silver Bullet Band. He's going against the wind. We were running against the wind. Listen, I, I've done tournaments for years. You gotta think about that lure in the water for presentation. Mm. You gotta show the right presentation. You gotta think about that lure when you cast in and it hits the yeah. ground. You it's like a sales pitch, if you will. You gotta right. work for it. Yeah, if you cast it out, you know where you're casting. You cast in, you gotta think of that lure when it hits the ground, okay? You just gotta think about what it's gonna look like. Mm. And like if say if you jerk it or whatever, you gotta know what, you, you know what I mean? You gotta know what it looks like. You just gotta fish with confidence. Be ready for anything. Um, I I once had a beaver bite my line, but yeah, I got bit once. I ain't gonna lie. He like bit through it. The only thing that saved me is that that each end was still connected. You ain't tiny. I didn't even a bullhead. Oh yeah, it is. Monster. <laughs> Monster. Beautiful. Let her go. Sometimes the ones you love, you have to let go. Oh, wrong way, buddy. You don't want to go. Here he goes. Here you go. One. Look at this guy. He's got one right here. I always overthought fishing. Didn't give it enough time. Just like my previous relationships, it all failed. You caught a pickerel on a worm. What the heck? We caught a pickerel. On a worm. On a worm. On a worm. On a bottom. That's a long boy, eh? How big was your best bass? You I mean, like seven money. pounds. You get anything good money-wise? The night that I got seven pounds, we, uh, obviously I got lunker of the night, and we came in first place. I ended up walking away with 950, and I had to split it between me and my grandfather. 18, 18 flat bottom. Off the light, too. It's a medium heavy. Me no, medium. It's a medium. Me yeah, I was going to say medium heavy. Oh, well, you're smoking. But yeah, that's nice. That feels good, right? Catching them on that, that's nice. I caught them on a light. Seven foot light. Seven foot light? Yeah. Who knows how to fish a bait cast? I do. You do? Only one out of all your friends? No. Three of the four guys here do. Really? Yes, sir. I feel that. Only thing I really get the bass to bite on? The fluke? Yeah. Who is the fluke? Is that the thing the bass will bite on? No. But it's... I have better luck with it. Mm. How well, do you feel, Cal? Your kayak's different. You got trash. But right out of this weed line, there's a there's a hole. We took our bass tracker out here. We just took our boat off, or our motor off. We took our bass tracker, and like, there's like a little hole in there that's deeper than the rest of the lake. And that's where I've caught my bigger fish, bigger bass. Check it, Teddy, is it, uh, Chicken breast with um, strawberry or um, whatever. Oh uh, yeah, strawberry. Um, jello. No, not jello. Uh, Kool Aid. You marinate it. Yeah, but you don't even have to marinate. You can literally yeah, that's put it together Same right thing. here. On jello shore. Kool Aid. Yeah, jello Kool Aid. Same yeah. You can put it together right here on shore. Do the same thing with chicken liver. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Just kill the man. Put a gun to his head. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I can't <laughs> see nothing. <laughs> we caught a turtle. <laughs> Get her done, Cal. You lose a finger, just know we're like 20 minutes. Right. Uh, oh, the line snapped. So we just got uh, these hot cops. Um, Even the dude was hot. Even the dude was hot. They all looked. <laughs> <laughs> are there any lies being detected? No, there aren't. There aren't. That's the sad thing. <laughs> they all looked like they worked for Abercrombie and Fitch. And we all know, if you've seen the Abercromb Abercrombie and Fitch documentary that they, wh what? Easy for you to say. What do you mean easy for me to say? I don't know what Cal's getting at here. But they all looked I like they worked for idea. Abercrombie and Fitch. And uh, they were very attractive officers. What do we got, Cal? 
He's got a five pound bull head. Brown bull head. <laughs> Let's see. No, Sam. That's a pickerdell. That's a bull head if I've ever seen one. You eat it? It's actually not a bad size. Eat it. We're back at it. Because they helped me with the night. Why are you vision. so close? Bag up. We're having a good night out here on the old fish pond. I need some light on this subject. Can't see Jack. Some light, please? I'll get it, but. Can you see now? How about now? How about now? How about now? <laughs> now you're in my eye. Can you see it? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the one I love. That took you two minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Woo, this Adam video. Adam has B.O. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we want to welcome Bobby, the newest member of Lake Lunkers. Lots more to come from him. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please comment your favorite part. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Have yourselves a great rest of your Chicken night. Chicken titties! Woo! Yeah. <laughs>